Okay, Glass. Make a YouTube video. What's up, everybody? Joe here, and these are not Google Glasses. They're my personal glasses. But if they were Google Glass, that's pretty much how they'd work. You put it on, you tilt your head back, that's like pushing the a button on your phone to show the lock screen and saying OK glass is like unlocking it. It, tell, it tells the the software in the glass the glasses whatever that you're ready to do something and then you say your command. Uh, Google Glass is in the new frontier of technology of wearable tech. Um, so there are a lot of smartwatches coming out now. Samsung's released one. There's some other ones. Apple's rumored to have one. And Google Glass uh, is the only one that you wear on your face. Everything else goes on your wrist. Um, what do I think about Google Glass? I think it's really cool, despite that if I try to say it fast, I can't say it very well. Google Glass. Google. Google. Google Glass. Google Glass. So, it's really neat technology. It's very unique, and Google always has the best stuff, so you know it's awesome. One thing that's not awesome is that it currently costs $1,500 unless it's changed. I'll tell you why it might have changed at this point. But the reason it's $1,500 is because it's currently in testing. They're beta testing it. It's not even released officially. Um, how does it work? Well, it can connect to your phone via Bluetooth, so that way you can make phone calls and send text. There's no cellular radio inside of the glasses themselves. Again, that might have changed, but I don't think so. And like I said before, once you put them on, you and you want to give a command, you tilt your head up, you say OK glass, and then you give your command. Speaking of commands, there are seven things you can tell it to do that it'll actually do at this point. It can take a picture, record a video, it can navigate, it can send a text, it can make a phone call, you do Google Plus Hangouts with it, and you can Google search. Now, these will increase. There might even be more at this point um, because they've, in, they've released Google Glass 2.0. Now, this is the new glass. There are a lot of hardware improvements, make it look nicer and feel better. And now, for people like me that wear glasses, they now have a glasses attachment. So, even with regular glasses on, you can still use Google Glass, and that's really cool. And now, they've improved the audio in it. So before, any audio played for making a phone call, or, uh, or um, noises like Google now talking back at you, um, would be played by a speaker that's on the arm of the glasses that's pointed and pressed against your skull which makes it sound like the voices are in your head kind of creepy um, but now there's a mono earbud which means there's one earbud not that it has the mono disease but there's one earbud and it comes up and sticks in your ear so now it doesn't sound so freaky and there's only one so you can still hear out of the other when you have your glasses on speaking of Google Glass I just want to warn you when you guys get it if you get it don't wear it while you're driving because there was a lady, California, got pulled over, got a ticket. First ticket ever in the world given to somebody for driving with Google Glass. So, again, I love Google Glass. Once it comes out, if the price is right, I'm probably going to buy it. But until next time, I'm Joe Green, and I approve this message.